Greetings, folks. We're here for another Nemo Dragon Reiki share. Uh, this one is for the eyes. Um, there's going to be some white language to go with it, um, I've been told. So uh, I'll start off with the chokuri power symbol, and then we'll go with the mental symbol. Tehegi, Hong Shu Zing. Hong Shu Nin. Chokuri. Call upon the Reiki masters, past and present. Call upon the Emerald Dragon. They call upon Yeshua ben Joseph, or Jesus Christ, as he's referred to by the Greeks. Uh, call upon the Archangels Raphael, the Archangel Gabriel, the Archangel Uriel, the Archangel Ariel, the Archangel Michael, the Archangel Sandalphon, the Archangel Metatron. Call upon Kuan Yin and Green Tara and um, Mother Mary and Mother Isis. Uh, so I think I've got a full cadre here, many entities that I can draw upon to aid us in this healing of the eyes. So focusing mostly on the eyes, or the head, the neck, and that area. Uh, and from the cards that I drew earlier, it just seems like that's light, eyes. Uh, is what is being stressed. So uh, we use sound. Uh, including 528 uh, frequency. And bring it back to the state that it should be in. aid for cataracts, um, any kind of eye disease uh, that you might have, or just uh, issues or problems with your eyes, you know, where you've got a detached retina so that that kind of moves into a place where it doesn't bother you, or which is what I've done with uh, this eye. Um, macular de degeneration to stop that, to slow that down. Um, anything that um, impedes the eyes, it keeps people from seeing uh, the things that they should see. Uh, like the lies that the mass media tell, and people should be able to see that. So, I mean, this we can look at these eyes the eye issue in many different ways. How are we not receiving the light is a, another another way. And the only way I know that you can for sure receive the light is to open up your crown to uh, the universal healing energy and let that come down through you. And then you've got the energy and uh, power to do heal yourself, uh, heal others, um, the healing hands. This is as it comes down through and connects into your heart and then out and your hands are connected almost directly to your heart, right? Uh, you've got chakras in each one of your hands, right, right about there. Um, so I hold the hands up like that when I'm doing Reiki. And I'm also sending out this uh, Reiki energy, healing energy to the uh, Emerald Dragon, Oregon pyramids that has got out there, uh, the ones on this property, uh, the ones I gave to, well, I guess I shouldn't really name them without asking them. If I can talk to this. Gave them, given a, quite a few here in Washington and I've got crystals on the Washington coast. I've given ones to people that are down in California 
uh, LA and also I've got crystals in Mount Shasta. I've got crystals down at Lake Titicaca in the Sacred Valley. Uh, I've got pyramids in Queensland um, and also uh, in uh, New Zealand. Sarah is, uh, comes to mind. I've got a pyramid in Scotland, uh, one in England, one, uh, one in New York, I have one in Florida, I have one in Minnesota, I have one in Denver, Colorado. And yeah, that's what I got. That gets all of those. I've got four more that I'm working on here and get those out to those people and uh, start another four. I've just ordered some crystals. Uh, some people have been asking me about getting different colors than the ones I use. And I'm looking into that as a possibility too. Uh, shout out to Jen Jen on that score if she's still a, a subscriber. And um, let's see, what else? Well, I mean, also uh, in the eyes and the head uh, would be one thing I can think of is the, with the geomagnetic activity that we've been having uh, every night, um, you know, sending soothing energy to that because it can, can cause headaches and problems like that. Uh... Hope that's coming through good. <laughs> Oh, I could have, you yeah, know, I haven't, I just remembered I didn't do the, uh, whoops. Let's see. Didn't do the Archangel Metatron self-mastery oracle today, so we'll, we'll read that. Today being the 30th, uh, with uh, 10 added to it would be 40, right? It, it would be. Uh, it's been a while since I've uh, so that'd be card number forty. Which is evolution birthing the new. We have the middle baby uh, in at the heart of the matter. Drawing this card shows that you are on the brink of radiant or radical rebirth or facing the birth of something new in your life. Well, a uh, clear new sight would be birthing something new into your life, wouldn't it? Uh, so there's a cure of the myopia that we seem to have as a society and not seeing uh, the lies that are being told by our politicians, by the press. The politicians say it and the press just uh, doesn't even fact check it. It doesn't do any uh, critical analysis of it any all, just pumps it right out there. Uh, straight propaganda right from the horse's mouth, right? Uh, but even if that horse is Mr. Ed, doesn't mean that they've got uh, the right ideas about uh, the way things should be going, or our lives, or anything like that, you know? So, um, 
And most of our politicians are horses' asses anyway, so they're talking out of their ass. <laughs> I mean, I can only think of one or two. Um, D T T is one of them. Uh, he he talks pretty straight, uh, pretty plain, plainly spoken. Uh, I think he's the one that coined the term fake news. <laughs> no, well, no, he didn't. He, he just picked it up because um, it was out there before. Now I remember. But anyway, yeah, so people can see clearly, you know, like the joke that we have in the presidency, uh, the, the whole pandemic, uh, and how it was just mostly to drive fear and to get us uh, closer to the digital ID, right? Uh, some talk that they've actually chipped us with the back, oops, I can't say that word with that thing that they stick in your arm. <laughs> Gosh, um, someday, someday, uh, wonder if uh, Musk will, Elon Musk will ever buy YouTube. <laughs> I guess that's a, probably a little bit even beyond him. Um, and I don't think the CIA would like to give up uh, the asset. Anyway, so, of course, I didn't think they'd want to give up Twitter either, but they did. <laughs> so maybe uh, maybe they don't have any control anymore. That would be nice. I wish I could clearly see that. Um. So vision, vision, vision. Question, okay, I got to All right, so we're gonna go into the uh, light language here. Kote ron toro sasa pon se chat gata chata tata tu trisha akantata. Kara sasa sinta de chichata tu tu. Kasha chacha patanta tu 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 kata. Yandra Ananda, <laughs> And yeah, there's some technical terms in there that I just don't know, folks. But um, basically, it's like the rewiring the whole thing front to back from the optical load to the to the eyes, the rods, the cones, the whole thing, the lenses. Um, of course, you know, you should uh, consult a doctor if you're having any vision problems, I'm being told. Uh, this is, uh, this may aid you um, in, your, in your healing. It's, um, of course, I mean, you have to accept the energy, you have to accept the healing. Um, no matter who you are or, or what, you know, I, I'm just sending it out there in general to those that can accept it, those that see this video and want it, or to those that don't even see this video and want it. Um, you know, that they're, if they're praying, I'm sending energy to it. Uh, if they're praying for vision, if they're praying for clear sight, um, and basically, yeah, just to everybody out there that, that needs to clearly see what's going on, you know, those people too. Uh, the press, I'd be really nice if they could 
clearly see what's going on and what they're doing and and you know go back to being true journalists so what the journalist is there to be is to be the the check and balance to the power right it's to call them on their shit that's to uh report the truth keep the keep them honest <laughs> do they do that no not anymore they haven't done that since um Well, pretty much it was going away. I mean, there were some, you know, you'd like to think that Walter Cron Cronkite was a, a good journalist, um, but I don't, I'm not too sure anybody on TV. I mean, there's been a few that, that did it. Uh, I, I remember this guy that uh, used to do the Meet the Press. Uh, and uh, yeah, he, he asked some hard questions. <laughs> you could kind of see him squirm. <laughs> uh, but they got him with cancer, so yeah. No, I don't I don't know for sure that they he died of cancer. We'll, we'll put it that way. I don't want to accuse anybody of actually killing somebody else with cute cancer, though. They blamed Putin on doing that to somebody, so I guess it's it's okay if we're blaming P Putin. <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, no, I better not. <laughs> and you'll get a strike, strike one, strike two, strike three. You're out. <laughs> I don't know. I think I've gone long enough to where I don't have those other strikes on me. But uh, oh wait, this is on Emerald Dragon. Oh, we got one strike on me on this channel. So I'm good. <laughs> I have one more before I have to really worry, you know, the next one I'll be. But I think they kind of do it in periods, you know, so if you, you're a good boy for, you know, like a year or two years or something like that, maybe the, that other strike drops off, I'm hoping. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's kind of hard for me, I, you know, being legally blind, Another reason to focus on being able to clearly see, right? Uh, though the best I can do is get this up to, uh, well, I can't get this one to 100%, it, uh, no matter what I do, because I've got a detached retina on this eye. Um, on this eye, I've got a totally detached retina. So really, uh, that kind of healing, I'm gonna need a med bed for, uh, I've been told. But because uh, I've tried, you know, just holding my hands over my eyes and thinking, I can see, I can see. And that is probably the best thing you can do, really, uh, for any vision problem uh, is uh, say, I can see. I am capable of seeing clearly and precisely what I need to see. And, you know, you can pray for that. You can use it as a meditation, a mantra. I am, I can, I am clearly visual. I have a clear vision. I am clear vision. I have clear vision, something to that effect. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's that. You can do that. This Reiki energy, I mean, this healing energy is there. Um, the angels can help you. Kuan Yin can help you. Green Tara can help you. Mother Isis can help you. Mother Mary can help you. Yeshua can help you. Uh, Archangel Raphael definitely is into healing eyes and all that stuff. Um, yeah, they all can help you. Um, I can help you. The Reiki masters can help you. But you have to do it. You have to say, I will be healed. I am healed. So I will say it for you. Uh, all who see this video, all that come and listen to this video, will be able to see clearly uh, within the week. I don't want to 
do it so quick, you know, like you, ah. <laughs> that would be kind of bad. You've been really blind for a long time and all of a sudden you can see everything clearly. Yeah, that would be quite a shock to the system. So kind of ease into that if you're totally blind. No, I'm de definitely let me know if, <laughs> if I do anything like that, doing this kind of a general broad scope healing uh, for you. Uh, that would be kind of wild. But I also uh, send it to my uh, dear love Yara too, because she's she has some issues with her eyes. And um, though it may be just a matter of, you know, getting enough sleep, uh, I'm being told that she doesn't get enough rest. So get more rest, Yara, <laughs> if you listen to this video. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, there are many ways to see too, uh, I'm being told. Um, so maybe they'll do like me, they'll help you uh, and advance your third eye uh, vision. You know, don't want to forget about that possibility. And Kachantara. Okay, so then they, they've got a, a different little light language for that one. Koshe I'm um, saying there that um, this too uh, might have to take a little while. Uh, most of the third eyes out there are calcified with uh, fluoride. Uh, and so you'll have to get off of uh, uh, city water where they're, they're using fluoride. Had the, they're saying that you should lobby your uh, water systems and for them to quit using fluoride, that it does not help save your teeth. It doesn't do anything for your teeth. And what it does is it uh, calcifies your pineal gland so that you cannot use your third eye. Uh, so they're saying, you know, get on to clean water, clean spring water, uh, rainwater, uh, collect rainwater for your you know, to consume, uh, filter your water, uh, if you can filter out, uh, get a filter that can filter out the fluoride metals, all metals. So uh, they say that if you can do that, then you have to worry about minerals. Uh, so perhaps mineral water is the thing to uh, consume or add some mineral water to your water after you've distilled it. <laughs> it's another way they say you can do it. Uh, so, yeah. So there's many ways that we can go about cleansing our, uh, our third eye, a detox tea, um, apple cider vinegar helps um, for the third eye, I'm, I'm saying. Not so sure what it does for the eye. It does anything for the eyes, the two forward facing eyes. Uh, and um, let's see, another little bowl here. So uh, hmm. I can see clearly now that the dawn has come. 
And in the bright new day, may we, our lives be re-begun, rebirth. Yeah, that's what it was talking about in the Metatron self-mastery, right? New birth, evolution, birthing a new, a new earth, possibly. So maybe that's what we want to need to, well, that's what we need our third eye for, so that we can see that new earth. Uh, because that's the gifts, as it was say, I was saying in the, the card that I drew, and they, Shala talked about the golden, well, the Council of Twelve um, coming through Shala and, and me. Shala is a connection, right? Uh, for me to that council. And uh, they're saying, you know, that the uh, the golden child, golden children, this is the thing that we're going to be doing more of. Uh, this is a rare gift that they have. Uh, well, they're saying that's not the only gifts that they have. I mean, they have, uh, these are star children that are going to be coming through with uh, new technologies, new ideas, new, new ways to do things. Um, zero point or over unity engine generation uh anti-grab um uh, healing pods um things of, of that nature these these golden children that are being born uh at this time and have been born for some time actually uh some of them are becoming adults uh even uh so but they are the they are the ones that have got their third eyes activated their their pineal gland is growing instead of shrinking like ours have been for a long time well ever since they started putting fluoride in our water which was sometime around the time i was born um well after yeah 47, I guess, is when they brought in the paperclip uh, scientists and their fluoride idea, because they used the fluoride in the or the prison camps, uh, the killing the Dachau and places like that, you know? that's It was used to keep them docile and unable to see what's coming down the pike. <laughs> If they knew what was coming down the pike, uh, of course, they wouldn't have gotten into those trains and wouldn't have gone to those places. They would have run, they would have resisted, they would have, you know, fought and died right there, as they did in Poland, in Warsaw. Uh, they crowded them all into the Warsaw ghetto, and those folks came back fighting. They fought tooth and nail because they knew what was coming. Uh, the third eyes were open and they knew what was coming. So they, they knew they had to fight for the, they might as well fight to the death because, you know, either way they were going to die. And it's better to die free. That's what I think. And that's what they thought uh, in Warsaw. At least that's what I read. I mean, that's, I, you know, I tend to believe that story. Uh, probably wasn't as quite as, because I think they held them off for 55 days or something like that. A pretty long time for somebody that didn't have that many weapons. I mean, um, most of them, you know, they took away from the Germans, the Poles. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, that's a, it's an interesting story to read about. So you should check that out there. The resistance of the Warsaw Ghetto. And, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I kind of got it off kilter there. <laughs> Getting back to the golden children and the fluoride. Oh, the fluoride, yeah. So that's where uh, that stuff came from. And we really, I mean, why would they do that to us? Is it because they didn't really want us to be able to see. They wanted our uh, pineal glands to be uh, calcified. 
So uh, resist, I say, and don't have fluoride. Uh, get rid of your fluoride toothpaste. Get rid of your fluoride water and drink, you know, clean water, uh, preferably rain water, because you can't get any fluoride up in there. Not that I know of. I guess that maybe there could be a little bit. There's, I mean, there's a little bit of natural fluoride that's in the in the system anyway, but it's, I mean, they're using a carcinogen, really. Uh, I mean, they, <laughs> when they put the stuff in the water system, they're wearing gloves and respirators and all sorts of stuff. I mean, they have environmental suits to put that stuff in the water system. What the hell? Why would you do that? Why would that be in our water system? Uh, if it's that flipping toxic. Yeah, so that's the question you want to ask your water department. If they're putting fluoride in your uh, water, uh, tell them to stop. Uh, that you don't want that in there, that that is, uh, that the science is, shows that it's unhealthy for you and you don't want your water contaminated. So that's up on you, folks. I can't do anything. I can't heal that. Uh, that's something you have to stop. Uh, so that one's on you. Uh, everything else, though, I mean, I can help with the DNA. I mean, this, it behooves you to get a 528 uh, Hertz tuning port. help your DNA heal because there's a lot of damage that happens to it from EMF uh, electronic stuff you know I, I mean I can heal it but it's going to get damaged again so shungite shungite is a good uh, stone for blocking or mitigating uh, the electromagnetic frequencies that you get off of your phone and other devices. I've got a, a little thing here that's supposed to mitigate that on my phone. Uh, I've got different kinds. Uh, that was the, the older model. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's ways we can get around this stuff. Um, Certainly detox tea is good. I mean, I take that religiously every day uh, with a little apple cider vinegar in it and honey uh, and make it palatable. Uh, otherwise it gets really nasty tasting. <laughs> but there are ways you can take it. Honey is a, also a good um, antibiotic uh, and it's a, a power food, really. I mean, it's... The nectar of the gods, right? <laughs> mead. That was uh, the mead maidens or the, the Valhalla. Yeah, so all important stuff. All righty, folks. So I think uh, we've, well, I don't know. See how long have we been at this? Not sure, since I didn't look. I'm gonna say it's probably been 30 minutes, uh, pretty close. That's not a norm. I normally a Reiki session would be uh, an hour or more. Uh, but you know, I'm usually I'm only healing, and I'm, I would say it probably though I only actually get the focus on the the particular issue that's going is probably for 30 minutes and i kind of came in hot with this one as to what i was going to be focusing on the eyes um and the optical lobes and um the pineal gland that one i wasn't kind of got tossed in there for me <laughs> but you know it's 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 appropriate yeah uh, for some of you, I'm, I'm hearing it's uh, you know, especially if you've got um, 
technical issues like I've got where, you know, they poke this eye out and you've got a detached retina in this eye. So there's, you know, those physical things that are, might be on beyond the reach of, well, mostly it's beyond the reach of your belief and that you can heal that thing. I mean, I know that's my problem here. I know the damage that was done to this eye. So it's pretty hard for me to imagine that I can just go presto change you and it'll all be all good. Plus the fact that I've got the polycarbonate lens that was on the outside of my eye and now is now inside my eye. Um, plus, you know, all the detached retina too. So, I mean, this one on this side does seem to be, um, it isn't as bad as it was. Anyway, I'm going to say, I mean, it used to be pretty dilapidating uh, before. So, I mean, like you can heal some of this. Um, if you've got any kind of vision at all, uh, the Reiki can help you. And it certainly can help uh, if you're going in to have surgery so that you'll heal quickly afterwards. Uh, though that gets tricky because you really have to be not connected to them or only connected to the doctors that they do a good job. And then after the operation, then you can focus on the, on the patient and uh, you know, quick healing, right? quick, as quick as possible healing. So those are some of the things that I know that Reiki can do for sure, can be a help for you. Um, if you would like a Reiki session with me, I, uh, I do offer those. Uh, and at this, you know, in this inflationary times, I'm not raising my prices any. I'm in fact thinking about lowering them because I know this can help may help you a lot and if you i don't want you to not do it because you don't have the money to do it so uh, there are different ways that we can uh, arrange payments i'm not i'm not married to money i'm just trying to make sure that we have an energy exchange because and the really the only reason i ask, ask for money or, or set up it for money is because i had a problem when i was just doing it free non-gratis is that people wouldn't show up for their appointments. You know, they'd forget about them. And so the money gives you incentive to be there for the appointment. So, or that you'll set an appointment that you'll want to keep because uh, you paid for it. <laughs> I mean, you know, not that if something come up and you couldn't make the appointment, I would, you know, certainly reschedule it for you. I'm not going to be one of those assholes. Um, but anyway, yeah, $33 for an hour is what I normally charge, but I uh, will prorate it uh, based on your uh, your circumstance. And um, and if you want to A trial uh, run, we, we can see if we can set something like that up for a half hour, or, you know, where you just see if whether that's something that it, that will help you. Uh, those will be just, uh, you tell me what the issue is and I focus on that, not me going into, into the deeper issues underlying it. I mean, that's how you get a lot of, there's, there's other tools that I use when I'm, doing a, re a healing session it's not just the reiki i'm also uh, it's tapping into your uh guides and angel guardian angels to see what what they can what information they can bring into it focusing on it where where the issue began you know going back to that point in time so it can bring the healing forward from there so there's a different tools and different things that I do in a Reiki healing, including uh, the bowls. I'll go into a healing or 
can go into it. I'm not, not going to say that I do them all the time. <laughs> Whatever is called for, really, folks. Uh, so if you can consider it, um, my, just email me at philchris58 at gmail.com. I'll, I'll leave it in the notes, the show notes down below. So uh, show more. You know, click on show more and over here on this side, the left side, uh, as you're facing the computer there. And uh, normally that's where it's going to be. At the end of where the dialogue is, is usually where it's at, show more. And, um, and then it'll show uh, that email. And you send me an email and we'll set up in a Zoom session and um, uh, work on your whatever issue that you want to work on or or whatever one I find. I, I usually start out, uh, if you're not, I mean, I can do it cold, you know, just go, uh, and sometimes I'll do that as a check, uh, and probably will check it, do, put you in a Reiki distance before the session begins so that I can check some things out if I get your permission to do so. Anyway, if, if, if I remember to ask. So tell me if it's okay uh, when you email me. Uh, that would be right, the way to do that. And then I would remember, right? Anyway, I am going on far too long on that. Uh, if you enjoyed this, you know, please leave a comment. Or if you didn't enjoy it, leave a comment because, you know, I need to know, I need some constructive uh, criticism here so I can keep this channel relevant, right? What the subscriber wants to see or what people want to see. So if you're not a subscriber, you know, consider that and uh, let me know what you think. Yep, there we go. There's my PSA and uh, so have a nice day. <laughs>